Live from Newark is Ask an Engineer. Hello and welcome to another fantastic Ask Engineer. Today we're having a recess. <laughs> it is the end of the year. Holidays are coming. The sales days, the big sales days for us are over. We're chillaxing here in New York City. We're doing, we're still doing Ask Engineer because we're dedicated. Yeah. This is how we relax. Three years. And Three and a half years. We have an exciting yeah. show. We have, we had an exciting show and tell. Tell yeah. them what's on tonight's show, Ivan. On tonight's show, the code is TREP. We'll tell you what that means and more. <laughs> Not TRIP. We have trip. The, the show and tell, one of the best show and tells ever tonight. Yeah, that Fantastic. Was epic. We got some news from the wonderful world of open source hardware. We've got mailbag. We've got some news from around the world. We've got gift guides galore. We're going to be checking into the Adafruit learning system. Things that you can learn. Things about <laughs> Arduino. More things about Arduino, things about Raspberry Pi. We've got Time Travel Tuesday. We got Makey Makey Monday. We've got Wearable, Wearable Wednesday. Wednesday. We've and got 3D Thursday. Thursday. Pi Day. Pi Day. We've got new products. We've got some top secret stuff. We're going to answer your questions. We have a trivia question. All that and more. And a cat. Yeah. yeah. He's right here. All on Ask an Engineer. You can even point the camera at him. He's okay. Like, he's like right there. There we go. You can see him. Yeah, there's a little cat in the background. So, yeah, here, move your move your arm. All right. Cat. Okay. <laughs> it's Catter Day. Catter Day. Okay. Okay, so, tell the uh, code. Uh, the code is TREP. Uh, that's uh, T-R-E-P. It's short for entrepreneur. Uh, we'll talk about why that's the code in just a second. Um, let's uh, dive right in. We got a big show. I uh, know, I know. We show just and tell so was uh, packed. The, the show and tell, is, yeah, the show and tell is fantastic. Every week we do the show and tell. It's half an hour before. Uh, Ask an engineer. We do it over Google Plus Hangouts. Yeah, and all, uh, we'll talk about how you can join. Not on that it. every show and tell isn't awesome, but this one was just like totally packed. People are uh, stepping up. All sorts of holidays. People have, you know, they're not. They, it's to, everyone's home. Everyone's it's home. It's not. A, it's not a Saturday during yeah. during during the year. So. Um, it's posted up on uh, YouTube right now. If you didn't catch it, you can catch it shortly. It'll also be posted up on the site. Uh, we had a few people. So Dino showed the rest of his bot last week, uh, a, a historic Google Plus show and tell. Um, a uh, bot was driven, controlled, and broadcasting through uh, yes. our show and tell. That was fantastic. He yes. has this really cool control software. It's intense. That he did. Yeah. Uh, Second. David had uh, LED strips. Yeah, he, uh, no, for he's his a, he used the LED pixels like we have pixels. in the store. Yeah. And they, he poked them through pegboard. Yeah, for a pegboard, and it was for a uh, ceiling for uh, yeah. hackerspace, I believe. Uh, Ido uh, and uh, his sister have color changing eggs, a really cool uh, RGB color changing. Uh, yeah, I think they use the LEDs that we have in the store. We have these we have these LEDs that are RGB LEDs, but they only have two pins. Yeah. And they have the color. Remember, I showed you those. They they change color on their own. They're they're kind of special. They're like you know super blinky. Yeah. And I think he I think they use those and um, some of the coin cell holders and and coin batteries, and they stuck them in an egg to make. A kind of a cool, fun, uh, like a kind of like a party favor. Sort yeah, of thing. I don't think the kids could have been more than like five or six. Uh, really, they really, were they were already uh, uh, doing better than most yeah. uh, students at MIT yeah. that I've seen. The the ask an engineer <laughs> age is uh, going lower and lower and lower, which yeah. is fantastic. That means we're all starting to do our job out there. Uh, Kaylee had an all uh, transistor clock. Maybe you could talk about this project. This, yeah. was, this was really cool. So well, she was saw a transistor clock, and she was really into transistors. So what she did is she's like, well, I want to start with a decade counter, and that's something that divides a frequency out. So, for example, like um, if you're making a clock, often what you do is you take the 60 hertz that comes off of the power line, or 50 hertz if you're in, in uh, Europe, and then you divide that by 10 and by 6 to get 1 hertz, and then you divide it to get, again, to get like, you know, one tenth of a hertz. So you have like seconds and tenths of a second, or 10 seconds and a minute and minutes and hour, hours, etc. Um, so a clock usually has a bunch of decade counters because it's the easiest way to divide down that frequency. So she started by making um, a decade counter chunk using only NPN, I think, NPNP transistors. And she made the board there. At, yeah, uh, and she school. etched the board. And they're going to use that board as an example. Yeah. Very cool. And then uh, next up we had uh, Emery, and Emery had a, uh, the name of the bot was 9x12. 9x12. And uh, what was really neat, it was a, a metal case, and the bot, uh, the bot you can unfold yeah, it. Yeah, sort of. And it has uh, uh, different types of yeah. uh, proximity sensors, uh, a wave shield, 
Uh, it was like LCDs, LCD. power meters, really cool it bond. Spoke. Yeah, it wanted to kill itself. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it was just trying to no, it had self preservation. <laughs> it's just trying to fall off the yeah. Uh, table. Yeah, it says, hi, it says hi to cats. Very cool um, bot. And yeah. uh, what's neat is when you start to put a bot together like that, how it takes on a personality. Yes. Um, and it talks. So she yeah. she she talks. And then uh, Harry checking in uh, at Stanford. Um, he went off to school and uh, he's was yeah. one super, super bright uh, uh, young person. And uh, he's working on a solar car. Yeah. So this was this is a giant solar car. They raced them or tried to just have them go 2,000 miles in Australia. Um, he's a team lead, and uh, he's in charge of uh, you know managing and doing things yeah. with the electrical system. Yep. Um, big projects. Yeah, check it out. It'll be posted big live show. on YouTube probably in about an hour, half an hour. Um, no, it's already up there right now. Really? Um, wow. Yeah, YouTube.com slash Adafruit, but um, we post it up after okay. on the blog. Um, really neat, automatically records and uh, gets nice. published. All participants on the show and tell will receive it. I've seen on show and tell sticker. Make sure you email supportadafruit.com if you're on the show, and we'll send you out one of these nice stickers that we made. We're starting to see these on all sorts of projects, which is kind of neat. Yeah. Um, how do they get on the show and tell? Super Later, easy. Go to the Adafruit Google Plus page. That's plus.google.com slash plus, the symbol Adafruit. Uh, and hit return, and then it will take you to the, uh, our Google Plus page, and then find the post where we say comment here to get added to the circle. We'll add you to the show and tell circle, and then you'll be invited every week from now until, until eternity uh, <laughs> on Saturday at 9.30 p.m. Well, one day we might, we might change the, the, the time of the show one day. No, but it will be in eternity. I mean, the, the, the time and day may change, but it will be forever. We'll be doing it for a while. Yes. All right, okay. so some big news in the world of uh, open source hardware. Um, open source hardware now maybe, I don't know when everyone started calling it open source hardware, maybe approaching maybe 10 years, I don't know, somewhere around there, it's getting, it's getting close. Yeah. When's the, when's the, when, was, when were you starting to call open source hardware open source hardware? Uh, like 2002, 2001, yeah. so yeah. Well, it's, the been, big, it's been about 10 years. Yeah, well the big news, uh, Lady Ada, you sitting right next to me. That's me. Awarded Entrepreneur of the Year by Entrepreneur Magazine. Mod earned. An open source hardware maker, that's you. That's me. Uh, Entrepreneur of the Year. Uh, thousands of people were nominated, narrowed down to uh, 15 finalists in three different categories. And then for the Entrepreneur of the Year, uh, you were one out of five uh, finalists. And then uh, news came in, uh, you got it. Well, so, all, the, all the fine people uh, who attend um, both the show and tell us if you're voted. When there was, they all there voted? was online voting that was, that, was voting. that was part of it, and that was a key that was a key element. So all all of that time we told people to vote really helped. <laughs> yeah. So this was this was a big uh, community uh, win. Yeah. Um, so uh, I remember, and I'm not going to give too many specifics, but I remember maybe six years ago uh, we were at a conference and someone from a big company uh, you were on uh, you were on stage talking and they said Adafruit was in a real business, not a real business. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, awesome to see how far you've come as a business leader and as an engineer. And uh, now, uh, just like when some people say, oh, you know, that's not art. Well, it's in a, if it ends up in a museum, it's art. Yeah. Now, if, you, uh, if you're an entrepreneur. By definition, I'm an entrepreneur. Now, by definition, you're an entrepreneur. I know. So it's in the latest issue. If you go on newsstands, uh, folks. Um, you can, uh, I'll, uh, Available in paper format. In available in paper format. Um, I actually happen to have the, uh, oh, let me get this, uh, now we're seeing four of us. Oh my god. Uh, so here it is. Uh, these photos were taken right, taken right when we moved into the new Adafruit factory. Um, it was fantastic because we, we really couldn't fit them, uh, anywhere else. Yeah, this was uh, the week it, after yeah. we moved to our, our new location. Yeah, so there you are. They came by, photo. but then they said we can't talk about it. Yeah, it's so, a secret. so we did find out about this, but you know, until it's on newsstands, and then this is it, right? When you open up the magazine, they say, uh, one more freed, Lady Ada. So doing open source hardware, having a cause, education, sharing files, sharing software, and helping the next generation of science, scientists, technologists, engineers, artists, mathematicians. You name it. This is a pretty intense year because we had Brie on the cover of Wired, and we had Massimo, the sort of the one of the, You're the maker. team team leaders of Arduino on, on the Wired. cover of Wired Italian. Yeah, and uh, cool. yeah, and and one of the things I wanted to talk about. Speaking of, so uh, one of the uh, series of questions you got was, uh, what are some quotes and some things, and I'll uh, start from here. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the the magazine. Uh, 
pages and uh, when you're just talking about makers on covers of magazines. So uh, your favorite quote that you said, we are what we celebrate, entrepreneur and inventor Dean Kamen. Words of wisdom, be the change. If you want to live in a world where that l looks a certain way and uh, don't wait around for someone else to do it. Um, that's me, I said that that's too. <laughs> uh, required reading, Makers by Chris Anderson, Entrepreneurial Idol, Tim O'Reilly. Biggest motivator, feedback from the Adafruit uh, community, um, and uh, getting uh, new engineers made mm -hmm. out there, and uh, design inspiration, New York City. So um, I'm so proud of you, and I'm so happy that the world wants makers and uh, business, not just hobbyists and uh, 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 small businesses, but turning this into something big, making yeah. ma and celebrating it, um, having an entrepreneurial community uh, where business is happening, but also having a cause yeah. is a big deal. So congratulations, um, really Yay. big deal. So very nice cool. stuff. Yeah, uh, and that's why the code is trap ten percent off uh, everything that's in stock in the Adafruit store expires tonight, eleven fifty nine. You have to explain what that is, though. Well, they they um, they like to call it uh, uh, trep. So it says the, the of trep of the year. Yeah. yeah. So, Entrepreneur has too many syllables. Yeah, so, uh, and what a fantastic photo. Look at that. You look great. It is a really good photo. Uh, it looks like an epilogue and pl pick know, and place uh, commercial. <laughs> yeah. Epilogue yeah. was really, every yeah. epilogue was like, this is an excellent at yeah. photo. And I'm like, yeah, I know. It just so happened yeah. the epilogue is right there. It was very visible. All right. And then um, just a, uh, one other thing. Uh, the, so the, the, the press rounds have happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's stories about the stories. So Washington Post, uh, our friends at Boing Boing, Make. Mm-hmm. All sorts of, uh, of our favorite places online. Um, uh, thank you, everyone, for celebrating this. And uh, for me, as kind of keeping a pulse on the maker movement, um, this means anyone who has an idea, who has a passion, who wants to build things and share things and mm -hmm. sell things. Um, this means some of the barriers are knocked down. This means this is a real thing that you can do. So um, if you have an idea, if you want to start a business, you know we've start we we've put out as much as we could and continue to about. Uh, how we run Adafruit, mm -hmm. and uh, it's available. It's possible. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not luck. It's just hard work. So you just got to wake up every day, and uh, and uh, you can you can do your passion. Yay! Okay, we're gonna keep going. Whew. Okay. This is a little embarrassing. So the last one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, next up, um, big week in the world of shipping. Uh, UPS, 28 million packages in 24 hours. They hit their peak on uh, Thursday, one of the biggest uh, shipping days of the year. 300 packages uh, per second wow. when they're at peak. Um, on over. Thursday, I think we shipped, uh, when UPS was leaving, there was about 1,000 thousand packages yeah um, we were we, we're hitting our, our, our peak levels too yeah. um, there's a good chance we may be shipping even more packages this month than last month which I didn't even think might would be possible Usually November's bigger but yeah. yeah so like right now we're we're clocking over 10,000 orders um, we might even per month. Go, yeah, yeah we might even go past that so uh, uh, one thing just uh, I, I wanted to start adding some uh, maker business stuff so for us as a company we're shipping so much stuff that UPS gave us uh, an additional uh, rep um, as you ship more packages, uh, they, 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 they become a customer customer. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah you get you're, a representative. You get a representative, and then the representative that you get, um, it's they usually might have like uh, 200 uh, close clients. Yeah. But as you move up the chain and you ship more, they give you to a rep that has even less. So right now, our rep only has like 19 other customers. Oh, that's cool. For for like and no, this, Joe, I just, yeah, 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 yeah Joe, that. and he's a senior uh, account executive on our account. And uh, the level of service that we get is fantastic because yeah. we're shipping so many things. And, it, and it's better for customers too. So, um, like, what does this mean to you? Um, as like, if you if you buy stuff from Adafruit, first off, we get much better rates now. Yeah. And our rates are what we charge is exactly what we get from UPS um, because we use their API. So you will see, you know, if you shipped a package a year ago, it should be less now because we're getting much better rates from UPS. That's part yeah. of the, what the representative helps us with. Is like yeah. They figure out like where do we ship the most to and then they help move our discounts into that location. Yeah, this is why um, people are always surprised how low our shipping rates are. Especially and, air. Yeah. It's so like second day, three day and overnight. Like it, it's, it's actually a pretty good deal. And like yeah. a lot of companies that sell electronics um, you know, or, or sell anything, they don't necessarily pass on the discounts. And we always do. We give you the discounted rate, not the list rate. That's right. The list rate is what they yeah. advertise on the UPS and site. 
the discount rate is what we get, which can be up to like 40% off, which yeah. is really awesome. So even our international UPS shipping rates are as low as yeah. possible, um, not only because of our volume, but because we don't tack anything on top of that. And uh, the other interesting thing is um, we're shipping so much that that's why we're able to start offering free UPS ground for orders, $250 or more yeah. continental US. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've posted about this in the past, but um, it's neat to watch the business yeah. grow. And uh, it's I love the discount because like, <laughs> I remember used to having to fight because you know, it's really difficult because like, I, would, I, would I would only get list rates because I, was, I wasn't shipping enough to um, get discounts. And so I kept asking UPS, hey, like, how do I get into a discount program? And they'd say like, Sorry, like you know, you don't ship enough. And I'm like, well, I ship more if you give me discounts, you yeah. know. <laughs> and they're like, okay, maybe. And so like, you know, it, it was very slow. And like, actually, our UPS delivery um, fellow Gary, who is he's awesome, and we moved, so he's not on our route anymore. But he actually um, helped us out. He, he saw that we were doing so much business. He's like, yeah. He's like, I don't like that you're shipping with that other purple company. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want that business. And yeah. so. He, he helped us get that rep, and that's, that was really key. So yeah. one of the secrets with business is um, make personal connections with everybody. You know, you wouldn't necessarily think that the delivery guy would be able to help you get a shipping rep, but like, he can. Yeah. You know, so. Well, that's one of the things that as we've grown the company, uh, everybody that we interact with basically becomes part of the, the company. We yeah. um, introduce them to our team, uh, everything we do. Uh, they know the packages that we're shipping out are very important, not because of necessarily even just their content, but because who they're going to, teaching yeah. and uh And then uh, our, our new learning. UPS delivery fellow, who um, Pete, who's really great, he yeah. helped us out. He came in, he saw a beautiful new space, and he's like, this is awesome. I'm so glad this is, a, you know, this is a really great addition yeah. to my route. And he said, hey, you know, I know, you know, I, I see you're using shipping uh, stuff from Uline. Yeah. It's a very common place to buy shipping with stuff like boxes and packages. He says, you know, I know a local company in, in Brooklyn that is local and they'll, they'll match or beat the prices and they'll give you free delivery from Brooklyn and you'll get it, you know, the next day, yeah. which is great because they just, they just truck it over from Brooklyn yeah. and um, he hooked us up and like... Yeah, so we're, we're saving already um, thousands of dollars on our packaging materials because the UPS guy was looking out for us because he's uh, very close to all the other people that yeah. he works with. So it's been really neat to, to have this relationship with uh, UPS. Also, we do great stuff with DHL because we're shipping stuff uh, mm -hmm. inbound, and uh, it's worked out great. Um, we have um, uh, a carrier uh, shipment coming in, so I talked to our UPS rep, and instead of it going by a freight forwarder or some type of freight company, they were able to do a competitive rate. So instead of being $1,700, it was actually 700 Yeah. So that's pretty neat. So um, yeah, it's, it's really nice to have um, have someone who looks out for us. So, yeah. And it's unfortunate that you know you have to get to a certain size to, to do that, but it, it is there when, when you get to that point. Yeah. And um, I think we got there a little faster because we were really kind to the people and, t and you know took care of the people who were with us and made sure like yeah. you know like the, the UPS they have the their yearly um, management audit and the manager yeah. would call us and say hey how's your UPS delivery pickup and we always said like they're the best yeah best and ever. We've, also, we've also given them really good feedback there uh, we had some site requests some uh, functionality uh, because we use the UPS site so much for uh, monitoring things or helping our customers so anyways yeah a little biz stuff how about UPS Okay, next up, some uh, news in the world of maker stuff. So Tindy uh, just got a round of, uh, of funding, mm -hmm. so they're uh, the angel funding. Yeah. And then they have, um, and let me explain what Tindy is for the folks that don't know what it is. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a Kickstarter, and it's kind of like an Etsy in one mm -hmm. for hardware. Yeah. And you can do a funding cycle. So kind of how um, eBay wasn't really the best place for crafts. And so an Etsy was developed where people could have their own store and their own kind of uh, craft type things. Mm -hmm. um, I'm starting to see that in the hardware world where um, Kickstarter, um, it's very broad and, and they have an editorial where you may, your, you, your project may or may not make it. And some people just want to like do a short run of boards and fund it that way or they may have kits that they want to sell. So uh, Tindy is one of those places mm -hmm. now, and it's interesting to watch. Uh, so they just got around to funding, hiring developers, yeah. and uh, really neat place to not only buy stuff, but if you're thinking about doing a uh, group buy, um, that's an option now. So yeah. that's happening. Uh, there's a birthday celebration. The transistor. Iota Tron. Iota Tron. Iota Tron. Yeah, there was an experiment conducted um, on December 16th, 1947. So. Uh, 16th passed this week, uh, 
had a uh, little birthday celebration. We shipped okay. some things with. Uh, this is a replica. I wonder what happened to the original transistors. transistor. I wonder if it just broke. <laughs> I bet it's still worse. No, it says it's a replica. So where's the original? No, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I uh, think uh, Colin has it. Yeah. Uh, from his videos. Okay, yeah, we should keep moving. Okay, yeah. next okay. up. More news. Uh, uh, this is kind of uh, in the world of open source hardware again. Uh, Bunny made an announcement. He is making a uh, open source laptop. Um, if yeah. there's anyone that can do it, it is Bunny. Yeah. So uh, he's contemplating doing a Kickstarter. Um, this is the, the power system. This is the motherboard. Um, uh, Kind of big, ambitious project. Look, a little open source hardware logo there. Yeah. So um, it's cool because it combines. I think it's a it's a Freescale processor, if I remember correctly. And then uh, he uh, he's also using he also has an FPGA on there. So it's it's a kind of combo, all in one. You know, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Not not a lot of laptops that have also an FPGA on board. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he uh, uses this for. He obviously has some some desires. Okay. Uh, next up. Mailbag. We're going to try to get through everything tonight. This is packed the mailbag. Every week we have mailbag. This week on mailbag, customer writes in. Hey, Fruit Rocks. I made an order on Sunday evening, changed my mind as I needed to add some components super fast. I sent them the email and they nicely canceled my order and refunded PayPal. I could, uh, PayPal, I could uh, place a different order. This is great customer support. The main reason I stick to a store, in my humble opinion. And of course, all the tutorials they offer for free is another reason to stick with them too. Thanks, guys. Theory. Yay! So every time folks send us all notes, we put them in our little mailbag system, and that lets everyone see and hear some feedback from customers. Okay. Thanks, Packet. Thanks, Packet Mailbag. All right, next up, Google Community section. So Google Communities is a new thing they added. It's uh, a, 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 in addition to a Google Plus page and the Hangout stuff that we do, there's communities. What yeah. we decided to do was something a little different than um, just make it a straight up company thing. So what we decided to have is a new section or a new thing and it's um, artists, uh, hackers, makers, engineers, and it's people posting up a lot of stuff. Um, there, there, there's people, there's like two different camps. It's like, well, we should make sure everyone does STEM, science, technology, engineering, math. And then there's another camp that says, well, we should make sure we add art in there. Science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So what we decided to do is have this place, this community, that um, has all those things. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about Adafruit. It's kind of a big umbrella. And what we found is people are posting up stuff that they're cooking, stuff mm -hmm. that they're drawing, stuff that they're painting, and they're seeing all the things that other people are doing. So here's a little video that uh, Matt, our director of community and support, put together. And it's someone who made a fun food project. So here it is. actually makes me a little hungry right now. Mm. So that's what we're trying to do, and uh, we like that there's a, a place where people can post anything they make. Mm -hmm. We really like that. So check it out, join up. Um, we're doing fun things on it. Mm -hmm. um, it's really neat. Uh, next up, NYC is reinventing payphones. It's Prototype Hack Day, uh, brought to you by Octopart, Adafruit, uh, Trilio, uh, there's a bunch of other companies. Uh, Twilio. Talkbox, Twilo. yeah, the NYC Digital. Um, basically, uh, you know those payphones that are sitting around New York? City is saying, go hack them. Go do, do, something. Go do something cool. Don't hack them though. We used to, we used to hack them when we were teenagers then. Yeah, and uh, if you dig through the old Adafruit archives, we have Citizen Engineer where we show how to take a payphone and we turned it into a Skype payphone. Yeah. And we actually have, so you can put quarters in, and then we hack it using a red box. Yeah. And it has little pulse tones that we yeah. detect. So um, we that's still pretty have neat. Payphone. We still have the payphone. Still have the payphone. So um, that's one of the fun things that um, we're going to uh, help out in the best way we can. Maybe it'll just be, here's some suggestions, yeah. here's some advice. Um, I have an idea for uh, the project mm. that I'm thinking about. Mm. So uh, you know how um, 
someone started embedding uh, like USB drives and brick walls, yeah. like a Dropbox, yeah. where you just plug your computer or something in and you can get files. Maybe that's uh, uh You want like a storage? Well, free backups for everybody. Yeah. You're walking around the street and you're like, hey, I should just go and plug in my computer uh, and uh, securely backup um, a bunch of files. So maybe like physical drop Dropbox. Okay. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's a good idea for public faith. Yeah, you have to put quarters in. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. To access your data yeah. for 10 minutes. Okay, next up, we had gift guides galore this week. We had the holiday gift guide, 2012 drones in space, all the things that you can get. And this is stuff that uh, has nothing to do with Adafruit. Uh, it's just stuff that we like. Our entire staff put this together. Music kits, lots of music stuff. Android stuff, Android kits and more. Solar, and then of course, last minute gifts like gift certificates. Yeah, for when, because uh, we, we are not shipping anything anymore that, it, it, you know, we're done. Yeah. Everybody's closed. Yeah, you can place orders. Uh, by the way, uh, just to mention again, 10% off everything in stock in the Adafruit store up until midnight tonight. Ship on Wednesday. Ships on Wednesday. All right, Whew. next up, the Adafruit learning system. The Adafruit learning system is hot. Hot. It is hot as in we're uploading so much stuff it's getting warm. Yes. <laughs> the speed of electrons. Uh, well, all the all the bit movement. They're fast. Is it's moving. Okay. Yeah. Not spicy. Yeah. So okay. this week, learn Raspberry Pi with Lady Aid and Simon Monk. Okay. We Tell me had, about this tutorial. We had a rem we had a remote VNC tutorial. That's actually the last one we put up. I think that this is the photo. This is how you can do VNC. So it's like a virtual network computer. So basically, you know, you can run your Pi headless, and then you can use your Windows or Mac computer or another Linux computer to have a little window with the like Raspberry Pi inside of it. And so that can be kind of useful for when you want to do stuff on the Raspberry Pi, but you don't want to have to like log in over text. You can do graphically. Okay. Um, but we also have a tutorial on how to use our console cable to log into the, the raw console. This is a really powerful way to, to debug and use your Pi. It's um, you know super fast. It's really easy. Uh, you can also power it over this cable. So it's a good tutorial to know, especially if you uh, you know you're, you break something or something isn't working. You want to look at um, debug console information. Okay, and then uh, this one is from uh, someone from the Adafruit staff, uh, James. He had uh, built this really cool uh, Raspberry Pi project that it detects when someone walks in and it plays a uh, sound from yeah. a sitcom. So it everyone. It uses a, a Raspberry Pi. Yep. For the sound, and it uses the the Pi game to play audio, and it uses a, um, a proto plate to wire everything up. There's a PIR sensor and a, a magnetic uh, door sensor, so it's like a door open sensor. So then, the, it, when the door opens, it uses the PIR sensor to tell which side of the person is in, so it knows whether they're entering or leaving. And that's why it, it plays two different sounds, either enter sound or an exit sound. Yeah, and let's watch a video. So you can see the Pi. And, uh, okay, that's it. That's Is that it? Yeah. And that's it. Okay. Uh, next up, some Arduino tutorials. Do uh, you want to go through these? You know what these are. Yeah. Updates. Uh, we updated it. So this is the, uh, uh, I believe this is either the, no, it's not the Vintage This is the light, light, sensor. light sensor tutorial yep. that we, uh, we've updated and is now from the blog and into the learning system. We also have a tutorial on our little Nokia displays, using them with an Arduino. We also have an updated tutorial on the 2.8 inch uh, TFT breakout board. Yeah. And then we have, um, in a continuation of our Learn Arduino, we're up to like lesson 16. 16. And that's actually the last lesson we have for now. Yeah. So, so here's a couple ones that we posted this week. Servo. Yeah. Uh, DC motor backwards and forwards, so this is a continuation of motor, but now you use a motor driver instead of just a transistor. Yeah, and that's it. No, we also had stepper. All right, we'll keep, we'll keep oh. trying. Okay, we're back. All right, so that's our, our pump. Yeah. Company pump. So right. I expect drink bots. Yeah, that's what you think we'll be able to make? Yeah, drink okay. bots. Okay. And like uh, bre brewing stuff and uh, distilling. Okay. So just to recap, we had a pump, we had a box. Nice tote. From a pie. From a pie. A book. A book. A little bit teaser. teaser. A little bits extended. Extended. Snaps. Snappy snaps. Buttons. Mega buttons. Lasers. Laser. Okay. So let's go on. Okay. This is the uh, next up. Raspberry Pi audio and video cable. That's right. Well, it's actually for kind of anything. So it's got HDMI on one end. 
And then in that big kind of like rectangular black case, there is actually a chip, and I opened up and I looked at it, and there's a like chip in like video buffer stuff. And it takes HDMI digital in, and it outputs VGA. And um, you can look at the specs for what it appears as for the resolution. I think it's like 1080 by 720, and it outputs like something like you know 800 by 600 VGA. Um, this is going to be used if you have like an old VGA monitor, which a lot of people still do, or you have a That's projector. It right. yeah. only takes VGA, doesn't have HDMI. Um, you can use this to connect to like, your Raspberry Pi or like your BeagleBone or like your, you know, whatever project you have that has HDMI output. Um, and you can uh, you can connect it up to your projector. And this one I really like because it also has an audio connector because HDMI is video and audio. So this is really nice because you can also um, connect. It comes with a cable as well for stereo, 3.5 millimeter. You can connect up to your stereo. Mm -hmm. So kind of handy. Oh, you can also drive headphones. I plug my headphones into it, and it uh, worked really well. Yeah, I like this because it uh, utilizes um, some of the previous equipment that you may already have. Yeah. And uh, it's good for recycling these old. There's, yeah. There's like thousands and thousands, millions of these old displays. Out yeah, there. this is pretty handy for schools who want to use Raspberry Pis because they have a lot of old VGA monitors. So they can just uh, yeah just do the, put that in there. So uh, okay. okay, well that was it. Yeah, that was a new product. So just to recap for the the folks that we had, uh, we had the laser, a small lightweight laser mount, nice chunky buttons. <laughs> yeah, they're chunky. Yeah, okay. Um, these little mini snaps that are, are perfect for flora. That they're not that size usually. They're, they're really small. That's a big. That's, that's a, a nice very, photo. That's a zoomed in photo. You get twenty four sets. We have the mega little bits extender pack. We have a little teaser kit. We have a book written by friends. Perma Proto Pi half size breadboard. Make your project permanent. This lovely tote, which is not only double sided, but has these removable cups, which means you can actually use both sides. A peristaltic pump, great for food and drink hacking. Yeah, I can't wait to see what people do with that. VG, uh, HDMI to VGA plus audio adapter cable. Okay. Rock on. All right. That's it. That That's concludes new. new products. Looks like we got new, through new, uh, new. some. Looks like Ustream's back. New, new, new. Okay. Okay. Uh, once again, the code is TREP for tonight. Ten percent off anything in stock, up until midnight. I'll post the code up right after the show. Uh, Actually, they um, they put an apostrophe for the T, so it's like TREP. TREP. Yeah, but, but for the, uh, for we the code that we're the doing. Code now. Yeah. All right, um, we're going to uh, go and uh, just do a quick little top secret thing here. Okay, top secret. Yeah, not out yet. Don't ask. Um, these are some photos from a big project that we're working on. Oh, it's so heavy. And it's starting to uh, happen right now. So for the folks who've done some type of industrial manufacturing, they'll probably know uh, what this is. Um, you want to give anybody a hint, Lady Ada? Uh, I don't know. The, the pressure is too high on me. Okay. I can't talk about the this. The pressure, too much pressure? Too much pressure on me. Yeah. Uh, I see what you did there. Okay. Next uh, up, wait, yeah, yes. yeah. Next up, uh, this is kind of neat. So uh, Becky uh, put conductive thread in Adabot, our uh, our our friend Adabot. Yes. And uh, Adabot was able to use a tablet. Yeah. On a on Adabot's own. <laughs> and uh, that's a photo of Adabot actually pressing the camera button on the tablet. It's a little, it's a, it's a little bit creepy looking. Yeah, I mean, it was it's, really it's neat. Both like, it's both cute and a little scary because it looks like it's coming right at you. It's coming right for you! Yeah, and so that was actually just done in one take. Uh, Becky called me over and said, hey, it's done. Uh, try it out. And uh, we had Adabot swipe the tablet. And uh, we're doing a special thing yeah. with Adabot right now. Colin is doing stuff. And speaking of, um, we're playing around with the idea, the idea mm -hmm. of a game. Um, we've been ta we've talked about this on the show. Um, Circuit Playground, the app has evolved, and Circuit Playground has all these cool characters. So here's a little bit of preview. Here's something we're playing around with. This is not by no means anything that is going to happen. That's real behind the scenes at Adafruit. We are experimenting with some different types of gameplay mm -hmm. to help inspire the next generations of the generation of science, technology, mm -hmm. and engineers to uh, uh, get involved via gaming. So here's a little uh, preview. Preview game. So anyways, that's a little little little, Wait, little, 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 little snippet. How does it end? Had to skip intro. There's a big story. There's blue smoke monster involved. There's lots of fun stuff. 
It's not out yet. Don't ask Lady Ada. It's a tale. Okay. okay. We're going to do some questions. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties with Ustream tonight, folks. But we have the show time. must go on. If you got right. engineering questions. Ask your engineering questions. Now's a good time. Yeah. We had some stuff on the overhead, but uh, I can we're just going to do this. The, why don't you go to the overhead while people are asking their questions? Oh, you want to do can, that? I can sort of show all okay. the things. Okay. All right. So these are the snaps. So I just want to show how small they are. And they come on a card. There's, there, there's two sides, and they're snapped together. You get a lot of snaps, which I think is really good. This is the laser mount. So um, use these set screws to put the laser in, and then I just have this laser module. So this is a, it's a lighter weight. Um, and also much smaller fixed laser mount. So I, I like having tools. Okay. Someone wants to know, is there a Raspberry Pi camera? Um, we didn't design the Raspberry Pi camera. The foundation is, and uh, we don't know anything about it, and I don't have one. So you have to ask them. Not yet. We do have a Raspberry Pi Model A that we've been playing around with. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Can I Square C handle fast data transfer like audio or video? It cannot handle audio or video. Okay, next up. Can I use your laser with a photodiode to directly send serial? Uh, yeah, you can. Well, you know what? Actually, I take that back. I2C can do very, very low um, frequency audio. Not like CD quality, but it can do like basic voice audio. Like maybe like one to four kilohertz. Yeah. Um, the second question was... Can your laser diode... Uh, oh, yeah. It can do... Uh, the TTL laser diode can switch as fast as 50 kilohertz. So perfect for your data. Okay. Uh, so wants to know what media outlets have asked you for interviews. Uh, you can check out adafruit.com slash press and you can see all of them. There's a lot of them. Yeah, here's this button. These are really nice big chunky buttons and I like how they have a, a big actuator. Yeah. Well, you know the data logger show more than many because it's an updated product. Oh yeah, we Maybe do. I'll show that off now. Yeah, we, we do have, have an updated product. The data logging shield for Arduino, some people might have noticed it's been out of stock for a couple weeks. It's because we were upgrading it to be a surface mount kit. So now it's fully assembled. And you get it, and you just have to put the headers on, so you put either straight headers or stacking headers. Um, that's what it looks like. It's basically the exact same as the old shield, uh, but it's now Leonardo compatible out of the box, and Mega oh, that's great. compatible out of the box. Next question, is the bus pirate any good to hack Cube World toys? What's a Cube World toy? I don't know how the Cube World toy works. I think you, I think the yeah. bus pirate might be good, but you probably want a logic analyzer like the yeah. logic. You probably want to watch the data as it comes in real fast. Yeah. Favorite project product from 2012? That's a good question. That's a really good question. Um, okay, I mean, like it's hard, it's a, it's a hard thing to say. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, Flora's a big deal. Yeah. Flora. I mean, it was it was. It, that was fun. Yeah, Flora. Flora we was did so much. Yeah, Flora. It's out, and we love it a lot. And the cool thing is, it's now getting in the hands of people, and we're starting to see some projects. People think about what they can do with wearable electronics. I, I like the watch kit. The watch kit. I know kit. that it was recent, but I really I liked it. I like it a lot. Yeah. I wear it. Yeah. I mean, just generally speaking, this this art project called Adafruit um, worked out pretty well this year. <laughs> okay. um, no. Next up, uh, how would you use a photoresistor with a Raspberry Pi, let's say, simple on and off threshold? Um, we have some example code uh, in the tutorial. It's called uh, Basic Analog Reading, and you can check it out. I think it even uses a photoresistor. Yeah. Okay. Here's the uh, HDMI to VGA, and then here's the... Uh, oh, you can't really see it, but there's an audio yeah. jack. Okay. Oh. Next up, how many shields can you stack on a Nuno? Uh, as long as the pins don't um, conflict, as many as you want, but usually pins do conflict after okay. a while. What do you think of open source hardware uh, for Kickstarter? Interesting enough, I have an article called Why Open Source Hardware is Kickstarting Kickstarter. Okay. And so um, from our point of view as a company, we've had uh, really cool people in the community take uh, our designs and do cool stuff with them, enhance, extend and uh, make a Kickstarter around it. So one of the examples is a really cool uh, solar project. Yeah. And they used our solar charger, uh, made, it, uh, made it into a, a, a product style thing, and had a successful Kickstarter. So that's kind of the goal. That's what we wanted to see get out there. We got a lot of good ideas back. And uh, so that's, uh, check it out on Make. Hey, can, can I show this pump on the overhead? Yeah. Question? So this is the uh, pump, and it's a little tough to see, but the pump is the DC motor. And then this is the tubing goes in here, and it goes around, and then there's these little rollers, and these rollers are what squish the uh, squish the tubing around, and so this fits on top of, of here, and you have to kind of press. Okay, it. we're just gonna go a couple minutes over because yeah, uh, yeah. You just came shows, so yeah, the tubing um, goes around; it doesn't go into the pump mechanism. The pump mechanism does not actually touch the liquid. Can you get a tone out of BeagleBone GPIO? Where to get info? 
Um, I think there might be a PWM output, but you'll have to check the BeagleBug Google Group for more info. There's okay. also documents on the, the Google Group. Next up, I work with a small company selling Arduino Shields we make. We have been approached by our first potential distributor. Does Adafruit have distributors, and what kind of arrangements do you have with the distributors? Yes, we do. Um, what we normally do is someone emails us, and uh, we take a look at the Shield or the product or whatever it is, and we ask them, how many would we need to buy? I think he's asking us how we do with and, distributors. And, and get margins. No, no, the other way around. The other way around. He's asking us how we deal with people who distribute our stuff. Yeah, the other way around is someone emails us and they say they want to be a reseller. And we built a really easy system. Uh, basically, you just sign up on adafruit.com as a regular customer. And then we switch your account to being a distributor. And then you get the great margins that you need to resell your, our stuff at a fantastic retail price. I think he's asking that. Kind of yeah, way. so it goes, you know, it's both ways. Yeah. Okay, uh, next up, is assembly programming still relevant in the world of embedded electronics? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, um, people still do um, assembly, especially when you need to do uh, high speed or high precision stuff. Um, when, you're, when you're working with, um, especially like mass produced stuff, uh, it has to get low cost. And to get low cost, you have to use uh, very slow chips, for, uh, like 4 bit or 8 bit microcontrollers, because it's the only way you can get a microcontroller for 50 cents or, or you know, 60 cents. And sometimes um, to get what you want out of them, you have to get down to the assembly level. It's it's rare, but um, you know I still I see I do see it a lot. Okay, uh, someone wanted to know about the plushies. They are on their way. Uh, yeah. We did not expect to have them this year. Uh, they take a long time to make and manufacture and get here. Uh, they're on their way. We will have them uh, right when the new year begins. So sign up now. They are going to go quick. Um, next up, I get, pulsated, I get pulsing when setting the red on the RGB LCD to anything but 0 or 255. Is this normal? Uh, that sounds like a text support question. Please post in the forums because it's hard to debug your project. Okay. Over. And. Uh, let's see. I think that we are almost. Uh, how would I go about connecting a very flat center of a flash hot shoe? Um, sounds like something you might want to use a 3D printer for. I, I don't know much about hot shoe connections. Connecting the very flat center of a, hot, of a, of a flash hot shoe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. John Jr. might know. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap up the show because uh, we have... Oh, look at this. You got all the demos going. Yeah. What if I have to just connect this directly? Oh, Bonk. turn them all on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I know. This is why it's fun. All right. Uh, one quick thing. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, the code tonight... Oops. Is uh, trap. That's 10% everything that you've seen tonight that's in stock. Yes. You can get 10% off. Um, sorry about the technical difficulties with Ustream. It was down, down, folks. Uh, that happens rarely, but it does happen. Um, we'll have the show and tell posted shortly. Yes. Uh, we would like everyone to have a fantastic holiday. Yay. Over the next week, there's some type of holiday. Um, even if you're just hanging out, making things, um, like all the folks on the show and tell, that was a great show and tell. Uh, we'd like to thank all of our staff. We'd like to thank uh, everybody uh, here tonight that's uh, part of the team. Yes. Becky, George, John, Paint Your Dragon, Phil, everybody. Um, John, uh, thank you so much for making this a fantastic year. Um, I would like to uh, congratulate you once again, Lady Ada, on your... Um, that's a hello. Yeah, <laughs> on your whiteboard. No. Thank you. On it's your, a whiteboard. On your uh, Entrepreneur of the Year. Uh, this Ooh. is uh, history in the making. Um, it turns out you can run a cool business and also have a cause. Yay! So uh, we are exhausted. As <laughs> so we've been closing the show lately, we are exhausted. We're going to go to sleep, and uh, we'll see everybody uh, next week. Thank you, everyone who showed up. You want to do the quiz question? Yeah, we have a quiz question. Sorry. Yeah. We're getting heavy ourselves. We have to have a trivia question to the cat. Yeah. So uh, I'm not leaving quite yet. Yeah, trivia question time. Hey, you're like you're ready to say something. <laughs> yeah, trivia question time. Whew. What are the rules of the trivia question, Lady Ada? The rules are, if you have not, uh, if you have entered this contest and you've won something, you can't win again. So only enter if you have not already won something. You can enter as many times as you want, but you only win once. If you are a friend of ours, you can't enter. Yep. And uh, the first person with the correct uh, spelling and answer in the chat window is the winner of... Oh, uh, yeah, Little Bits of Teaser. Of the Little Bits Teaser kit. This is awesome. Uh... If if you're you know if you get bored of it after a few minutes because you're like a super hardcore engineer, give it to somebody who might be interested in engineering and analog electronics. This is a lovely gift. Okay, the trivia question tonight is the first person to post a link to the story about Lamore on Entrepreneur.com wins. Get out your Googles. So first person to post a link 
to the Entrepreneur Story, where she was awarded Entrepreneur of the Year. In the chat, post the link. First person I to do it. I want to click these buttons next to the microphones. So yeah, you got to go to entrepreneur.com, and then it is on the left or left or, or right hand side, and it looks like Bruce. Congratulations, Bruce! You got it. Email support at nice adafruit.com, and you get the little bit starter pack. Fabulous. The little, uh, the little um, uh, teaser pack. Teaser pack. Yeah. So uh, I did all my thankings. Okay. So I can go. Uh, okay. Now it's time for a cat. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm gonna go on a quest. All right. Well, why don't you show the stuff on the overhead, and I'll go. Okay. Grab how them. about you? Okay. Sorry. Yeah, because you have more interesting things to to show and share. Well, I kind of show everything. Yeah. Well. Uh, maybe maybe I'll. I'll show. Yeah. Maybe I'll show that. Okay. So the new Data Logger Shield works with Uno's, Megas, Leonardo's. I actually have to uh, post up the tutorial for getting it working with Leonardo, but um, because it uses our new SD library, but it's got a big SD slot. I decided to go with the big SD slot because I think a lot of people want to be able to grab the cards easier. Reset button, real-time clock over here with a coin cell battery for backup, and a level shifter. And then you get tons of prototyping space over here. Yay! And there's um, <laughs> two LEDs. And then there's a cat. Yeah. And uh, yeah, now it comes out of Jones, our uh, reflow oven. Yeah. So you, you get it, and all you have to do is solder on the pin, so it should be even easier for people to get their data logging on. Okay. Okay, cat. Here it is, the, star, the real star of the show. There's Mosfet. Here. He will not meow on command yet. Sometimes he, sometimes he does meow on camera. It's happened like on a couple of shows. But you know what? Like if it happened every show, it wouldn't be special. It's a nice cat. Meow. <laughs> That's a okay. great cat. Okay. All right. So thank you once again, everyone, for uh, making this fantastic year. Uh, next week is what the 29th? 29th. 29th. So, 29th. It'll, so it'll, be it'll be the last show of the year. Last show of the year. Whoa, cat's gone. Yeah, cat's gone. Cat gone. And uh, <clears throat> pardon me. <clears throat> hopefully, oh, now you're back. Hopefully, we got our uh, He's our, back. our once a year uh, uStream. Uh, oh, look at that. Yeah, now he wants to come back. You, He's want, back. you want to be on the show again? Whoa. He's all excited. All right. Okay. Thank you, everyone. We will see you uh, next week. Here is your moment of Zener.